Welcome to the Innovative Leadership Education Technology and Empowerment Seminar, part of our Law, Policy, and Engineering Leadership Seminar Series. Thank you for joining today's event, and I really wish I could join you live as our speakers promise a fascinating discussion on what has become a critical component of our lives, technology. While always an important tool for education and work, over the past two years, Technology and the ability to quickly adapt technology for teams, as well as helping individuals learn it, has become the lifeblood of continued business and continued progression. We've also witnessed and furthered the ability of technology to give access and better educate users with regard to a broad range of topics. From virtual concerts from the Philharmonic to the shift of professional conferences to virtual events, we have more access at our fingertips than we've ever imagined. How do we empower our teams to best implement and adapt technologies, both to facilitate current work and to develop fresh approaches aligned with our missions? As leaders, this begins with us. As the world has evolved, our resources for knowledge have grown and problems have become more complex, so must our leadership approaches. Flexibility, curiosity, and an ability to adapt are all qualities that drive a team's well-being and growth. And they're also qualities that can enable collaboration in teams and across areas of work or research. So whether you're an educator or a consultant, division head in an international company or CEO of a small business, such qualities are often demonstrated in how you leverage available technology and how you approach the implementation of new technology. With computers in our pockets and massive organizations that continue to run from our homes, we know technology can enable us to interact and share knowledge like never before. With technology, leaders can shape the workflow, development and learning of their teams using everything from an online scheduling tool for time management to a virtual reality headset for demonstration of concepts. The limit does not exist when it comes to technological potential. If we can work to together to develop adaptable technology for multiple fields and types of work. Of course, there's a very real limit for a workforce that includes those who remember the transition from rotary to touch dial phones and those who may have grown up without a landline in their home. As leaders, it's our responsibility to empower our colleagues to learn and grow with the technological advancements and to imagine how else they might be used. How do we approach the implementation of new technology through an interdisciplinary lens to facilitate education of new topics while also educating our teams to make use of new technology? So today you'll hear from two keynote speakers, Dee Burns, principal at the Burns Group, and Paul Marka, principal at Parallax Global Advisors. They will offer their expertise on how interdisciplinary collaborations can beget new technology for use in novel education approaches, as well as how new technology can enable fresh approaches to interdisciplinary collaborations and the roles leaders have in both scenarios. Following their talks, you'll be treated to a showcase of student projects developed in Engineering 497, Design for Justice, a course led by Sandra Allen, Director of the Law, Policy, and Engineering Initiative and Professor of Practice in the College of Engineering. Collaboration with Penn State Law's Family Legal Clinic and the Veterans and Service Members Legal Clinic, as well as technical support from strategic industry partner Utopian, was vital to the success of each project both of which focused on fostering broader access and understanding of civil justice via virtual reality. We are excited for you to learn about what our students achieved in the course, a curriculum option for the first of its kind Master of Engineering degree in Engineering Law and Policy offered here at Penn State. With that, I hand it back to Sandra and our speakers. Thank you again so much for joining us today. 